this one is for the graphic designers, um, especially maybe students or younger graphic designers. Um, it's about the idea of an insight into a topic. Um, so lately, I've been really trying to pull apart the process when I assign projects. And, I, and instead of having this sort of normal deliverables, I have kind of micro deliverables. So like, if I assign research, the next week, I only want to see research. I don't want to see any opinions on the research. I literally just want to know, what did you read, write, look at, watch, listen to, period. That's it. I don't want to know what you think about it. It doesn't need to be organized yet. None of that. And then later we'll assign analysis. Okay, cool. You did all that. Organize it and start to figure out what it means. And then from there, there'll be this idea of an insight. And it's kind of a, it's a tricky topic for my students, I find. Um, it's unclear what exactly it is I mean. Uh, like how is an insight different than a concept? And the way I would pitch this is the insight leads to the concept. So um, at the moment, I started doing the research phase of a, a portfolio project. I, I wanted to get some different kinds of side work and to do that, I need to build up some projects that show that. So um, the first step of that is of course, the research phase of it. Uh, from that, so what did that involve? Um, last night that involved about 45 minutes to an hour worth of reading. Uh, and it was largely unproductive, except for there was one quote in particular um, that did something. So it's, um, I'll just completely do it. So my plan here is I wanna do more music packaging. I feel like the stuff I have doesn't speak to my current skill set or my way of approaching stuff. So in order to get around that, um, I'm gonna make some new stuff. So then you have to figure out what to make. So on a sort of simple level, I thought, let's redesign the packaging of a record I like and not because I dislike the original packaging. Just, just because I like it and let's have no references to the original packaging. So this isn't an improvement or anything of the sort. It's a reimagining. Hold on. Busy traffic. Okay. I just saw so many Mercedes in the last 30 seconds. It was super strange. So, um, so the first one of these projects is to redesign Calhoun Walled City's container ships record. And, um, and so I looked for kind of every interview I could find with the band right around the time they put that record out. And by and large, I didn't find much. But then there was this one quote um, about the title track, Container Ships. And it was about the sort of dichotomy of these ships hauling useless crap to the first world and then being dumped off or sold for scrap in the developing world where they're literally hacked apart by hand to sell the ship for scrap like by hand um it's brutal so it's about this like this dichotomy between like the comfort but potential um meaninglessness in the first world i don't know what you call that shit now the western world whatever and then um, how that shows up elsewhere. So that idea, the tension between my everyday experience and how there's a back end to that everyday experience that um, plays out around the world, whether it's in Sri Lanka with breaking down the container ships, or in Africa, where they're um, stripping the copper wiring and whatnot from 
computer products and these horrible like hellish pits uh, and I'm sure there's a million other examples right we have sweatshops pollution whatever so that idea that dichotomy or tension that's not a concept at least in my opinion that's the, the insight and so like once you have that insight you can take that piece and then develop concepts from that so a concept from that might be well the actual record itself already had a concept like that there was a photograph of a container ship on the front but a concept from that could be a record where that outside of the record looks like contemporary consumer culture whatever that means and the inside of the record let's say it's purely typographic hold on i picked an intersection with trucks so let's say the outside of the record it's a it's gonna be totally typographic the outside of the record is gonna look like maybe contemporary product design maybe it looks like apple packaging and then the inside of the record is the kind of typography of transit and moving and whatnot um default and heavy and worn and um unconsidered so that's a concept the insight is the dichotomy the concept could be expressed that way another way it could be expressed is a series of diptychs you know one photo on one side contemporary culture north america the other side shipping breakdown yard um in bangladesh and the so on and so forth right uh another one might be that it's purely the sort of back end that the package is actually a photo book and it's stuff like edward bertinsky and other people that show the side effects of contemporary consumerism so to me the important thing is the insight because the insight can lead to a bunch of it's a real insight if it leads to more than one concept um if it only leads in one spot i don't even think it counts as an insight i think it's just a concept or you're just super attached to it so that's kind of roughly that idea like once you have the insight you should be able to express it in any number of ways typography form photography illustration painting video blah 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 all right thanks a lot for watching